Good morning, Dunbar. Thank morning. you for allowing us to come and visit you at this lovely country club up here at East Hill. When was this open? Uh, we opened the facility, uh, so we had a grand opening, I should say, in February of this year. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Now, when did you join the Ape Seal team? I've been with Ape Seal 10 years now. Mm -hmm. I've been in Barbados for 16 years. Um, I was originally recruited out of the UK to, uh, as part of the team that developed the Hilton Hotel. And after I completed that, I joined Ape Seal in 2007 as the development manager. And uh, I thought it was a great project, it was a large scale project, something that I thought would be a real challenge. Um, and so far it has been. I can imagine, it's quite a large development. So I understand you're the managing director. That's correct, yes. So what does that entail on a day? Well, I have overview of the entire development, the entire operation of the project, um, in, including strategy as well. Um, how we're going to move, what products we're going to offer to the uh, to the market, etc. Um, so uh, I have a wide role um, in this development, covering everything from development to, uh, to club services and golf operation. So, as you know, we have a very good relationship at Terra with you all. You yes. keep us very well informed, yeah. and I can only assume you do so with all the other agents on the end. How important are us agents to your arm of the whole development? Um, you know, Terra Luxury and the other uh, local real estate agents are a massive, um, massive importance to Ape Seal. Uh, we see uh, the local real estate agents as an extension of our own sales team. We are really at the front line. Um, when people have decided that they wish to have a second home, um, they wish to have a second home in Barbados, you know, they're most likely uh, to come and knock on your door and ask you what's available and ask for your local knowledge. So our aim is to always keep the local real estate agents in Terra Luxury abreast of what's happening at Ape Seal, what products we have on offer and what things we can do for clients so that you're well informed and, uh, and hopefully that you can introduce them to Ape Seal and we can show them what a beautiful development is. Well, we do appreciate that and I would say that you do keep us very well informed. Thank you. So Dunnebrook, we at Terra have been really impressed with this stuff. To the point we had um, our Terra web uh, launch here, which in itself was phenomenal. So what made you all decide to build this, this lovely Well, you know, Apes Hill is a lifestyle development and um, we had a fantastic golf course and uh, we wanted to add the other elements of the lifestyle to the development. We've been very successful in selling a number of lots at Ape Hill and a number of homes at Ape Hill. And re really, we had, uh, as part of that success, reached a point where we needed to deliver on the other elements of the lifestyle. So <clears throat> we wanted to create a, uh, a f the first true country club in Barbados, where all the facilities are under one roof, that everything is in close proximity to one another, and that regardless of whether you're a golfer or a tennis player or you just like to use the gym and you're, you're a fitness fanatic, that um, you would everybody would be using the same facility. We wanted to create a social hub, somewhere that people will use on a daily basis and in the evenings to, to relax and to enjoy whatever their lifestyle, um, whatever pleases them. Basically. So do you find that's been happening? Has the response been good? Like people in here, people outside? Yes. Has it been what you envisioned? It's been fantastic. I mean, it's got uh, a lot of positive comments. I am personally very pleased, having been involved in the design and the development of this particular building and the facilities, to see how our owners and their guests are using the facility, to see that the tennis courts are getting a lot of use, to see that the gym is used right the way throughout the day, and that at lunchtime that this place is buzzing. And, uh, and certainly in the evenings as well. I mean, the view from here to watch the sunset on the west coast uh, later on in the evening is fantastic. And people are resonating with that, people are enjoying that, and they're really using this facility uh, to its maximum. Mm, that's, that's good. Mm. Now, you recently induced, introduced the country cottages. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's a smaller product. Um, it is a 
cottage, very Caribbean in design and vernacular. And it's really aimed as being an entry level product into the development. Um, there's a number of aims. Uh, it's close to the country club. So, you know, somebody who is buying one of the country club cottages for an investment purpose can put it into a short term rental program. And its proximity to the clubhouse means that all the facilities are right here the gym, the tennis courts, etc. So that'd be a nice prospect. It might be uh, a family or a couple that are nearing retirement but not ready to retire, but they want to get a foothold into the development. They want to start to uh, spend a little bit more time in Barbados. So this is an entry product that maybe in future years, if they sell a business or they or they decide to retire, that they can then trade up to a, to a bigger home or, a, or, or, a, or a, uh, an estate home. So it's really a community um, of smaller cottages. They're all detached from one another, so they're all very private. Some have views towards the Gulf Coast, some have views towards the West Coast. Um, but they're really you know, kind of nice units for people that are not spending their whole year in Barbados, but are maybe spending six weeks in Barbados. It's a perfect product for them. No, I, I was yeah. very impressed with them, and, and I like the design of them Thank and you. everything. And so I'm sure we will have some sales heading your way. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now you mentioned people building larger homes. Yes. So you have a lot of land here. Do you see people not <coughs> building on the land? But what's happening on that side? Yes, uh, you know, uh, more recently with the uh, introduction of the country club mm -hmm. and uh, the completion of the country club coming on stream, we're starting to get more and more um, applications for people building houses at Apes Hill. Mm -hmm. I have five houses that I'm currently building that are due to complete within the next uh, 30 to 60 days and I know of perhaps another half a dozen larger estate homes that are under design or um, ready to start perhaps by the last quarter of this year. So yes, we are seeing um, some uh, impetus for people that have bought land or are buying land to now develop that, those pieces of land and build a house. So things are happening? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So let me ask you, besides here, yeah. This particular spot. Yeah. Where's your favorite place to No, this is a great spot. <laughs> it's kind of I mean, my wife would kill me for telling. It's kind of hard to leave this <laughs> other day. We'll when take you, that part. Yeah. <laughs> when you when you come in and, and you sit here and uh, you know, uh, so Charles is, takes an active interest in the development, mm -hmm. and he will often come up at the end of his day and, and sit and, and have a drink, mm -hmm. and so I often come up here and sit with him, and it's just a fantastic place to relax. But other than this particular spot, I think it would be the, the tees on hole number 14. Uh, for me, it's a beautiful golf hole. It epitomizes golf in the Caribbean, tall, stately, royal palms. And as you look over, you've got a view across to the east coast of Barbados, which is totally untouched. And it's just fantastic. I mean, I think even Bayesians, when they see it, are surprised at the beauty of that view. I know it's the exact spot you're speaking of, yeah. and it is amazing. You look that side, you can see all the East Coast, and yeah. that side, you see all the West Coast. Yeah. So, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. What do you think are the differences between the Hill development and yeah. any other de development on the island? What makes here yeah. unique? There's a lot of things that make Apes Hill unique. Uh, I guess the, you know, one or one or two of the most important ones are the elevation that we sit above mm -hmm. sea level. We're 960 feet above sea level. We're almost at the highest elevation on the island. And the views of both the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, which there's no other development in Barbados that enjoys uh, those vistas. It stays nice and cool here. It's a couple of degrees cooler here than it is, you know, certainly on the on the beach. And so it feels comfortable all year round. Even when even in the hotter months, it feels comfortable here. And the feedback that we get from our visitors and from our owners is it's got a nice, relaxed atmosphere. That it's friendly, it's relaxed. It's not. It's not too stuffy. Or it's, it's just a pleasant place for people to hang out and um, and you know that's us I guess that's Ape Seal that's what we're trying to aim for. You had mentioned that what well, all the owners like here at Ape Seal. So where would you say most of your owners come from? In the main they're, they're from the United Kingdom the mm -hmm. British owners um, a lot of Canadian owners as well 
Um, but we have owners from all over the world, um, a lot of European countries, Germany, Switzerland. Um, we have local owners as well, and Caribbean owners from other islands. So we have a real uh, spectrum of nationalities that own property in Brazil, uh, which is, you know, makes it great yeah. and makes it a really interesting environment socially here in the in the country club. You had mentioned about golf, which is obvious, yeah. but you also have other things. You mentioned yeah. tennis court. Tell me more about all the different amenities. Right. Well, this clubhouse, or this country club, um, is really, as I've said, the social hub and it has all the facilities uh, for the entire development. We have uh, obviously the golf course, we have changing rooms, locker rooms in this, in this building. Downstairs, we have a state of the art gym and a small spa treatment room. Um, outside, we have a lap pool, which is almost uh, half Olympic length and then a smaller resort pool for families to, uh, to hang around. You have two um, tennis courts, which are artificial grass and sand tennis courts, and a croquet lawn, um, and practice range and facilities. And actually, we are very blessed to have quite an expanse of land um, that we have set aside for recreational purposes. So uh, we can have football pitches, uh, you know, rounders, pitches, we can do whatever the owners um, would like us to do here. Yeah, so we're very blessed in that respect. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so, now we also have um, polo tournaments, I understand, which is basically, as Beijing would say, a stone throw away. Can you tell me some more about that? Well, we have, you know, a, a, an absolutely fantastic international standard polo field um, over the road from Apesaw Club. Um, with a you know fantastic set of stands and a, and a, and a clubhouse, and during the season we host uh, a number of touring uh, polo teams who come to Barbados to play, which is always great fun, and and also local matches and local tournaments as well, which uh, which are hotly contested for the bragging rights for that year, and and a polo school. So um, you know we've seen a real uh, uptick and rise in. Um, persons coming to Barbados uh, specifically to learn how to play polo or while they're on holiday to hone their polo skills. They, um, they have a great, uh, you know, Jamie uh, does a fantastic job in the polo school and, uh, and, and I hear that, um, not that I'm a polo player, but I hear that, 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 that it's very well used. Now on the lighter side of things, mm -hmm. do you have like a daily mantra <coughs> every morning? I don't really have a daily mantra. Um, but I guess there's a, f you know, there's a few things that I always uh, remind myself um, on a daily basis, and, I'm, and one is always to smile. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know that that's you know one of the greatest gifts that we have is a is a, is a lovely smile, and I think we should use it as best as we can do, and um, and always to remain positive to to, to each day to um, to conduct yourself in a positive way. So I don't necessarily have a mantra, but I have a few things that I guess I instill in myself. Yeah. What is the most interesting part of your day? That's kind of a difficult question. I, I cover so many different items, so I, I find the entire day interesting. Um, but I, I, I really like um, just interacting with the staff and talking to them about how their day is going and. Uh, and, and listening to what they have to tell me, and you get some interesting uh, comments, you get some interesting antidotes from your staff and mm -hmm. from the team, and, and I always enjoy that, because I think it's great. I, I like mentoring people, and I like to hear um, what their challenges are, and what they're trying to get out of life themselves, and, and, and so I find that interesting. I find it interesting in, in enabling others to, uh, to achieve what they wish to achieve. So what I'm getting from you after sitting here chatting with you is that this is a place to be. This absolutely. is where things are happening. Even though we don't see things happening, things yeah, are happening. Absolutely. So yeah. we just need to bring more people here. Absolutely. We're like a duck on a, on a pond, you know. Yeah. We look serene on the top, but the legs are getting crazy. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much for taking time over your day. It has been an absolute pleasure um, coming up here. and. Um,
if you need help, just call us agents. We'll be here. <laughs> well, thanks very much for coming to see us, and um, and we, you know, we very much appreciate the relationship that we have with Terra Luxury. Um, we look forward to increasing that. It's our pleasure. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs>